Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to remove images from the list of images before sharing of post and then after we will load image in Facebook or Twitter style photo grid by using image grid jquery plugin. So for first for remove images, we have go to footer.php file and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have right click event with close class so when we have click on close button then this block of code will execute under this block we have write media id variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write media id so it will fetch value of data media id attribute and store under this media id variable same way, we want to get path of uploaded image. So here we have write dollar path variable is equal to dollar this with data method. And under this, we have write path. So it will fetch value of data path attribute and store under this path variable. Now we have proceed for send Ajax request for remove media. So here in Ajax first option, URL which has been set to upload.php so it will send request to this file in second option we have write method and here we have use post method for send data to server in third option we have write data and here we have send media ID path variable value and action variable with remove media as value has been sent as data with this Ajax request Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function will be called if Ajax request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id media dash with media id variable with fade out method. So it will remove parent division tag for close button on which user has clicked. Now we have go to upload.php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to remove media if this condition true then it will execute if block of code so under this block we have write php unlink function with dollar post path variable so this function will remove files from folder after removing file we want to delete media data from media table so here we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from media table where media id is equal to dollar post media id variable value below this query we have write dollar connect variable with query method and under this we have write dollar query variable so this method will execute above delete query and it will delete data from this media table now we have check output in browser friends First we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page we have click on add files button. Then after we have select files from local computer and after selecting files from local computer here we can see selected file has been uploaded and that uploaded files has been display under this panel with removed button. Now we want to check removed button has been working or not. So we have click on this image remove button. After click on removed button, here we can see that images has been removed from this panel. And that image has also been removed from upload folder. And that image data also be removed from media table also. Now we have proceed for share post. So for this, we have go to footer.php file. And here in post button click event, we have write action variable is equal to 
dollar with button id share button with data method and under this we have write action so it will fetch data action attribute value and store under this action variable after this we have write post id variable is equal to dollar with button id share button with data method and under this we have write post id so it will fetch data post id attribute value and store under this post id variable after this we have go to data option and under this option we have also add action variable value and post id variable value has been add as data so when ajax request has been sent then this both variable value will be sent next we have go to post action dot php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to update if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array in first key we have write double colon post content and in value we have write dollar post content variable and in second key we have write double colon post id and in value we have write dollar post variable value so this way we have store post data has been stored under this dollar data variable below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to update posts table set post content table column is equal to double colon post content where post id is equal to double colon post id so this query will update post data under this post table for execute above query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this we have write dollar query variable next we want to execute query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have write dollar data variable so it will execute above query and it will update post data after this we want to display post with uploaded image so we want to fetch uploaded image from media table so here we have write dollar fetch media variable is equal to select star from media table where post id is equal to dollar post id variable this query will fetch particular post media data from media table below this query we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and under this we have write dollar fetch media variable so it will execute above query and return query execution result which has been stored under dollar result variable next we have write dollar media array variable is equal to array under this variable we will store media path column data after this for fetch data from dollar result variable we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar media array variable is equal to dollar row media path variable so on every loop it will store all post media data under this dollar media array variable after this loop we have write dollar temporary id variable is equal to php random function so this function will return any random number for generating value for temporary id now we have write dollar output variable is equal to array under this array we will store data which we want to send back to ajax request so in array first key we have write content and in value we have write html entity decode function 
Under this function, we have write clear text function, and under this function, we have write dollar post content variable, so it will send clean data to Ajax request. And here we have also append HTML code like division tag with ID is equal to dollar temporary ID variable. So under this division tag, we will display uploaded image in Facebook style image grid format. In second key, we have write user image and in value, we have write get user of the function with argument like dollar session user id variable and dollar connect variable this function will return user profile image in third key we have write user name and in value we have write dollar session user name variable in fourth key we have write media array and in value we have write dollar media array variable under this variable we have store uploaded image path in array format and in last key we have write temporary id and in value we have write dollar temporary id variable so here we have store data in dollar output variable Now we want to send this data to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method, and under this, we have write dollar output variable, so it will convert data into JSON string and send to Ajax request. Now, we have again go to footer.php file, and here under share post success callback function, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write action variable value is equal to update. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block of code, here we have write set timeout function with 5000 millisecond. Under this, we have write dollar with division tag ID, last post details with HTML method. And under this, we have write make post function. And under this function, we have write data dot content, data dot user image, and data dot user name variable as argument. This function will return last share post content in HTML format. Now for display image in Facebook style image grid. So here we have use images grid jquery plugin. So for this, here we have write dollar with division tag and here we have write data dot temporary id with images grid method. So it will initialize this images grid plugin on this dynamic generated id of division tag. Under this method, we have write images option and in value, we have write data dot media array, so it will display this media array images on web page in Facebook style image grid. So when user has upload images while creating of post, then it will execute this block of code, otherwise it will execute this block of code. So friends, here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. So here we can see create post array with share post button. And for share images with post, here we can also see add files button also. So here we have type something in post body. And then after for add images with post, we have click on add files button and select multiple files from local computer. After selecting files, here we can see uploaded files has been display under post body with remove button. So here we can also remove image before publishing of post. Now we want to share post. 
So we have click on post button. After click on post button, here below create post panel we can see loading button. After loading of data, here we can see last share post content, and uploaded images has been display as grid like Facebook timeline. It has display maximum 6 images in grid, and for view all images. We have to click on image, after click on image, we can view all images in light box one by one navigation, so here we have use Facebook like photo grid plugin for display images in Facebook style format. So friends, in this video tutorial, we have learned how to upload multiple images in social networking sites project, by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery, and then after how to display images in Facebook style grid format. In next tutorial, we will add more feature under this social networking websites project. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.